So let me guess, you got a Road King and you're thinking you want you some bad Mamma Jamma bars up on the front and you're wondering what it's going to cost you and what all you're going to have to do to put them on or have them put on. You're also probably wondering why in the hell you were quoted so much money when you asked somebody how much it would cost to do the job. You probably freaked out and I get that. So here's the issue. <clears throat> when you go to put on the taller set of bars, uh, this only becomes a problem if you go over 10 inches. Okay, so if you put on a set of mini apes, just to show you those, they come standard on a street bob, which I just happen to have one of those as well, uh, you wouldn't have any trouble. So, for example, if you found a used set of mini apes on Craigslist or OfferUp or Facebook or whatever, uh, you can simply pull all your controls from your touring bike, mount them up to that mini ape set, and you're on your way. I would even say if you like those mini apes, just do that because this is a lot, lot, lot more involved. So, just a couple quick things I wanted you to be aware of. If you choose to do business with somebody like Magnum, Magnum Shielding, uh, you can contact your company and you can simply order an upper brake line, right? Because you're thinking, well, why in the hell would I replace my lowers, which are just fine, with new stainless braided lines if I don't have to do that? That's what I was thinking. Well, here's the fucking problem. When you go to replace the upper brake on a stock Harley setup, this is what you get from Harley. Now, you'll notice all of the brake lines are crimped. They're hard crimped on to the manifold, which is unthreaded. So what that means is if you want to replace your stupid fucking Harley bars with something taller, you need to get a threaded manifold and more lowers. Don't you love that? So I didn't know that. I ordered the upper line from Magnum. Which none of this is on them. I'm not saying that at all. But I had to uh, go back and order their lower kit, which does come with that threaded manifold uh, and, of course, the lower lines. <clears throat> so that's what that is. So if you're looking at your Harley stuff and you're wondering what all you're going to have to buy, I want you to go ahead and remove this cover here. And you got a bolt underneath. You fairing dudes are going to have a different setup. But pull all this open and take a look at the included manifold. If you have a threaded manifold, you're good to go. You just need the upper. If you got the all-in-one Harley system, which I'm going to let you guess why a corporation like that wants to keep putting those on bikes, you got to buy a whole new kit and caboodle. Sorry about that. So just be aware of it. Secondly, the exhaust. You're going to run into videos of guys where they're showing you how you can loosen up uh, your exhaust system from the heads and get yourself enough wiggle room that you can ease your exhaust out enough to remove the uh, clutch basket cover. That ain't going to happen on one of these. It's just not. And for a few reasons. But for one thing, you got to take off this lower floorboard bracket completely if you're trying to pull the exhaust from this side to get yourself a whole bunch of room. The problem with that, <clears throat> the Torx bit that mounts... Uh, the actual bracket for the floorboard itself is like a T9000. I'm not even kidding. I have, I have T45 bits that aren't even close to large enough. Uh, I, I can't fathom what in the world else you'd ever need a T-bit that big for. But if you want to take that bracket off, you're going to be buying a part to do it, dude. So, <clears throat> because we have this crossover, and I apologize, I, I don't know how well you can see it. I also don't know... If you can picture this with it disassembled, because mine is, but I absolutely ended up having to remove my left exhaust completely. And I, I lost a bunch of time trying to sneak things through that just were never going to happen. So I'm just letting you know, just suck it up. Pull off the left side. It sucks. It takes a little bit. It's annoying, but you can do it. Just pull that mother and... Uh, get yourself all the room that you need okay so just eat it go ahead and do that and then lastly as a stupid mention i bought a harbor freight snap ring pliers to pull my snap ring out to do my clutch uh cable and that mother was never gonna do it i uh i i wrestled with that stupid interchangeable head snap ring pliers from harbor <clears throat> for way too long yesterday and i just went out and 
coughed up some money on a more expensive one, and I'm going to finish up this job. So I'm just letting you know, if you got yourself a regular-ass Road King with your crossover system in here, you're going to be taking that left side off. You're not going to sneak it out. This isn't going to happen. And make damn sure you check for that brake manifold setup and see if you got to replace all that too. But uh, other than that, good luck. Stay safe. Shiny side up. Rubber down. All that good stuff. Brap, brap. Later.